Foot-chuck? Uh, Guybrush, come over here. Gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything. Just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so... Lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way, you have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. What should we do next? We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. Put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. when finished, or else. I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. How much are the scurvy dogs? Scurvy dogs are only a half piece of eight. That's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure, if you give me a piece of eight. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. Good! You unlocked it! Where should we look? All over. Do you see any coins? Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese inside. It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. Gross. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. <laughs> Gross. I don't see any coins, and I'm not putting my hands in that. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. I'm not touching that gunk. It seems more like something Chucky would do. I don't see any coins, and I'm not putting my hands in that. 
A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. That's where the outhouse key was. I once had the hiccups for four... Hey, look! I'm returning the key! You want a medal? Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure! If you give me a piece of eight... What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. I'm having these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner forever. What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? I wonder where those two people we were following went. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by That's my friend Dee. Hey Dee. Hey Chucky, what are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sid Heads. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was bad luck. You can still find the old kind around sometimes, but collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, you can tell that one side is a little larger than the other. That's to prevent what's called plummeting, where the anchor goes down too evenly and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. The little flanges at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down for the same reason. Most anchors these days are made of iron and you have to recast them like twice a year because they rust. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around that by making them out of wood instead. All kinds of people invested a lot of money in these wooden anchor companies. But the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another anchor. And so they gave up and went back to the old way. The word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara, meaning city. They're called that because when you stop in the middle of the ocean, it's like you've made port at an invisible city. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. I read a lot. <laughs> In France, they call- Hey Chucky, wanna race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Chucky wins! Woohoo! Yeah! Next time for sure. You up for another race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three. Hey, cheater! You have to wait until I say go. You up for another race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! I win! <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, hands off! I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days. No regard for personal property. And no- Gotta run! How rude. What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. Give it some of your bread. I stole it from that couple. Want a sword fight with me? You don't look very challenging. Do you want a sword fight with me? You don't look very challenging. I can stand on my head without using my hands. I wonder where this path goes. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. You'll never catch up to my level! I win! I win! Uh -uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if! I should throw my coin in and make a wish. I want to see two scurvy dogs at the same time. I wish for another scurvy dog. Those things are bad for you. <gasps> Told you so. <laughs> <laughs> Are we done here? We might not be able to come back if we head this way. Do not pick the four leaf clovers. Let's look for a four-leaf clover! Okay! Good luck with that! I found one! Awesome! There was still one left? Darn! You should put that on your scurvy dog! Yuck! I don't think that was ketchup. Whoops. Hey, Dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah! We got scurvy dogs! Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh boy, that takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun. But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. 
There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. Feels good to be back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? The Chuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no, I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. LeChuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag, a depraved, ruthless villain, and a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? We've been enemies for my whole career. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny, he said the same thing about you. That guy steals all my best ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out, but I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. I'm mounting my own voyage, mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The Chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well. I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum Bar. 
by the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. Re-elect Governor Carla. talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh, no. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are exactly? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison. Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like, famous! I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing! Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent? It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. It's a prize of incalculable monetary value. I don't know about incalculable. Quick! Who can count to zero the fastest? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. Would you at least consider advancing me some funds? It's a surefire investment. Triple your money or your money back. Not interested. I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. A percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. Could you at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship. You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. <laughs> if you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes, the dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. Ha! No, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> 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 Fine. I don't need you or your money. I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. I like the old pirate leaders better. How clever. 
expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm sure to swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. Have you got anything more senior? Well, I need a second mate, a bosun, a ship surgeon, and a gunner. Do you think you're qualified for any of those? I'd make a great bosun. Exactly what qualifications have you got for that? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Okay, maybe eight. Don't waste my time, okay? I could be second mate. Do you honestly have any idea what a second mate does? Goes to store openings and funerals and waits for the first mate to be incapacitated? I thought so. How about ship surgeon? I assume you have some kind of medical degree. Is that a definite requirement? Sorry. I could be the gunner. Oh, I'd be great at that. Boom, boom. You look a little scrawny. What do you bench? Bench? <laughs> no problem. I sat on one for 12 hours once. I can take it. I have a lot to do today. Maybe Swabby's not so bad after all. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, the job is... Hey. Hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Smith. John Smith. Uh-huh. LeChuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. I'm sorry. Can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Well, that's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were going to get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. to believe after all these years you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. Oh, they're a highfalutin dark magic. Look at us. We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> these kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. Then why don't you take off the ask me about Loom button? My grog-riddled body is fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old times' sake. Beat it. Say it. No! Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. 
Go out in buy loom today. Yes. Now get lost. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. It's a book for storing collectible trivia cards. Looks like someone Yar. just left it here unattended. Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? Peachy. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. Still in public service. Fighting scurvy now. My place is clean. Our health certificates are up to date. No, no, it's not like that. She's got a foundation. They're trying to promote limes as a preventative. Oh, well, tell her I say hello. Do you know where I can buy a mop? Buy? You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. It seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. <laughs> 